If you're stuck in your rink, have no fear. To all the duelists, Sondo 301 is here. As a duelist, this is how you find the most impact and rank up from your current rank into high immortal. All these tips were provided by the current best duelist in the world, Durka, the fanatic jet mean at the time of this recording. In this Twitter thread, Durka gives us 10 key pieces of advice. He starts off the thread by saying this, Main job as a duelist is to create space for your team and seek advantages and early picks to make life easier for your team, which requires some individual skill and mechanics. So here, Durka says that your main job is to create space for your team, which we will learn how to do exactly as we go further down the thread. But I want you to pay attention to where he says and seek advantages and early picks. Does he say you must get these advantages or early picks? No, he uses a key word here, seek. So as long as you try to get these early picks or advantages, you have done your job as a duelist. It's unrealistic to expect yourself to get 20 kills every game. Your teammates need a level of skill of their own to get kills to help you out. Your main job is to take space. Getting kills is technically a bonus. Now let's get into the exact points that Durka covers. First, he says, get to know your agents, learn abilities and limits on them. Running on a custom server alone, just bouncing nades off the walls and learning satchels or jet dash updrafting will help you more than playing an extra ranked. You can also learn stuff for more specific scenarios. This is key, especially if you are wanting to increase your impact in your matches. I'd recommend one tricking an agent until you hit your desired rank. This will allow you to learn this agent to its maximum potential. Secondly, he says, play with your teammates, pairing up with initiators and asking them to set you up with some utility and breaking utility for you will make your life easier. The game has lots of tools to get you an advantage. Same as for the enemies, has lots of utility to push you off. Having a duo helps. So to answer the question from earlier on how we can actually find early picks and advantages, here is your answer. Stop playing by yourself. Ask your teammates for utility and ask them to break things for you. No one can read your mind, so speak. Be a human. Thirdly, he says man advantages. If you ever get a 5 versus 4 or 3 advantage going on, you shouldn't ever go for more. Just play with your teammates and let the opponents who are in a disadvantage do something. Don't make their lives easier. Sometimes just killing smokes might win the round. So in basic terms, don't go greeting when it's not necessary, but also don't be afraid to fight. It's good to put your team in these advantages, but once you do, be smart, don't throw it away. Fourthly, he says, look what agents enemies play. No point going into spots where an enemy will 90% clear you with a drone, recon, dog, or a prowler and kill you unless you have someone with you to break it. Also, it's more worth for you to break info utility and reposition instead of re-peeking into the same exact angle. Again, basically saying to use your brain, guys. Fifthly, he says be everywhere. Every round, you should think of where to go and where the enemy has gaps for you to get a possible entry. Sometimes it's worthless playing the same spot as you played many times in a row. You also have to change your pathing on the site on T side. The enemy adapts to you. Again, my peeps, he basically is saying to think. Durka goes on to give many useful tips, but these become more specific. For my lower ranked players, focus on implementing the first five tips as they are the key framework you should follow to becoming an impactful duelist. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to breeze through the remainder of these tips. Sixthly, would you rather kill an omen or a jet? Getting picks on agents with more valuable utility for the team is more important than jet diffing somebody. It opens up more gaps and spots to play for you and your team, significantly increase your chance in winning the round. Seventhly, entering. Don't be afraid to go out first on attack. Ask for flashes and smokes. Tell people what you want and it might make your job easier. You just getting on the site, maybe getting a kill is already a great job. You don't have to push enemy into their spawn after. Eighthly, want to climb up quickly? Get a duo. That will go in a custom server with you and learn the stuff together. Helped me a ton playing with someone that plays smokes or flashes and had stuff planned out together for many different situations. Ninthly, well, let's skip this one. Lastly, for the 10th point, he says this. 
routine. Get yourself a warm-up routine that you would follow daily before starting your ranked games. Just one simple 10 to 20 minute routine will make you much better individually and make sure you're more consistent. Even if you feel like it doesn't help, follow it for months. And if you guys need a warm up routine or a training routine, I have one here for you in my Immortal Training Routine video. But ladies and gentlemen, at the time of this recording, this is the best jet in the world. So follow his advice. The full Twitter thread will be linked down below in the description. To all of you who want more information on how you can have a greater impact and get more kills, I'd recommend watching my shoot two, then reposition the Valorant video next. And I'll see you there, guys. Personally, to all my jet mains out there, I love watching Durka VODs because my playstyle, and like many of you out there as well, Durka is one of the most disciplined jets that you can really learn from. And he's honestly one of the most easiest players to watch because he does very simple things, but they work so effectively. So watch some Durka VODs, guys, but deuce deuce.